Guys, welcome back to our BMW Blog YouTube channel. We just had a chance to see the new 7 Series with Domagoy. By now, it's time to talk about its brother, sister, whatever you want to call it. And this is the all new BMW X7 facelift. It's part of the same class, you know, family, luxury family at BMW. And as you can see, it's got a brand new design, and Domagoy is going to walk us through. So let's jump right in. I mean, similar. This is an LCI. It's a known product, X7, also very successful. But when we designed the 7 Series, we were thinking, okay, as I said, the front end is our GKL product lineup. Yeah, exactly. And then, of course, we tried how can we bring it on the X7. It's more challenging because you have to keep certain things. We also have an illuminated kidney. But then also the split headlights give this car actually a quite fresh look and also it looks almost like it fits because it gives more body color okay. you know it helps the exness because before the the lights they were separating Separate, yep. top and bottom mm -hmm. now it actually looks more solid and it gives even more presence yeah? okay so we've talked about the split lights uh, quite a bit on the 7 series and they can follow that video but maybe just briefly explain why the split headlights what, and what that allows you to do in design yeah so the split headlights, of course, we can see them in the industry also. But of course, you can't always uh, reinvent everything. But there are certain advantages, but you can use them differently. For our top of the line cars, we thought, how can we give more attention to detail when we just concentrate on the elements which have no functional restrictions, like the day running light? because they are just to be seen, but you don't illuminate the street. And so you can give them different shapes. We want always four similar uh, or same uh, identical icons. And we can do this by concentrating just on the daylight. The, the beam or the functional light which you need for, for the night, which has to always illuminate the street, you can't really design them. Yeah? Or Maybe in the future you will be able to do something, but if you don't want to take away the functionality, it looks like it looks. And so we said, on the top you have this designed elements, which are the look of the car, so like now. And underneath you have anyway always functional areas, air cooling, nobody... Here's the cooling for the brakes, but it's still designed. Yeah? And here you have an element which is the... Uh, for the uh, air curtain for the air and, the and at the same time there is also the headlight connected okay. and so it's a functional area where you don't wonder it's like a fog light in the past you have a functional area and on the top is kidney and signature this is kidney signature and this is just functional necessity like you need wheels tires mm -hmm. mirrors yeah so you've explained to me earlier today which is interesting the kidneys have the same size as the outgoing model, but for some reason when you look at the car, it looks smaller. What's the reason behind that? Yeah. Or how did you achieve that actually? That's more of the question. <laughs> actually, the kidney is exactly the same contour. Okay. We changed the inside so that it feels also, because you will see, yeah, they, they are not that three-dimensional. Okay. Now they are completely black, but when you see them on the, on the different version yeah. without M-Sport package, you will see they look uh, very sharp. Yeah? Uh, not that three-dimensional, but therefore more crisp, and it fits then more to the interior and also the rear lights. Yeah. But this one, because we have now an illuminated kidney, like this uh, iconic low, like on the uh, X6, yeah. but this is just possible if you have a, a satin uh, a finish, uh, finish mm -hmm. because otherwise you would reflect or you wouldn't see the see. color. And just by this matte effect, yeah. the kidney looks smaller, smaller because yeah. a chrome would always reflect more. But actually, it fits to what we wanted to achieve. We didn't want to make the kidney smaller, but yeah. we wanted actually to give more body color yeah. that the car looks actually more present. Yeah. And this, this all together, not connecting, okay. kidney gives somehow the more presence. Understood. So before we move to the back, let me ask you this. So, BMW purists always have this idea that certain elements should belong to an M car. And in this case, you have the side mirrors now are similar to the M cars. What was your reasons to do that? I mean, this is the 
M60. So it's the M60. So, so it's an M performance, exactly. M light, so, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So the strategy is now, because we have a lot of um, M performance models. Okay. And in the past, we were uh, differentiating with cerium gray. Sure. But what now that, yeah. uh, we changed that. We have a strategy where we actually want to have all M models closer together. Okay. So all M performance models, starting already with the M240, okay. they will get certain things which are coming from the high performance model. So sure. you will see here now in the back okay. four exhaust pipes. Yep. Okay. So this is something, M mirrors and always, instead of cerium gray, it's always black, okay. uh, but shiny black uh, paint. Yeah? And this is something we have, and of course, the M logo in the front, yeah, which also is like uh, M yeah. performance. Yeah? Okay, so let's move to the side yeah. over the back, maybe. Side-wise, I don't think anything has shifted, right? So no, we just increased uh, the size of the wheels. The we wheels. have now, instead of 22, it ends at 23. Okay. So, of course, it's this has Maybe not here, you don't see it, but on the street, the car looks even... It's yeah. got a nice presence, yeah, bolder, nice, exactly. gotcha. Okay, so that's, so, so that's the side. And then the rear, from what I understood, there is an interesting story with the taillights. So um, the design, apparently, it's a little bit unique on this one, right? With the, um, with the do you call that the honeycomb, or...? So this, this graphic is okay. actually more linked to the interaction bar yeah, or okay. to the crystal okay. look and okay. so we wanted also to give here a similar graphic which happens then in the interior you have seen the uh, the, the speakers mm -hmm. graphic and okay. so it's more a graphic where we wanted also to give the light a little bit more mm -hmm. exclusivity sure yeah, but it's a it's a minor detail you okay see the exhaust so the pipe? exhaust pipe that's yeah. definitely uh, definitely a big change there it's because before the m performance model had the same exhaust pipes like the others. Yeah, yeah, correct. And there is a different station now. And then also the rear lights, they are more when they're completely, if they're, lit, if they're off, yeah. they're completely black. Yeah? So okay, it's more so the iPhone smoked, kind, smoked of, kind. And the chrome, to look also a little bit more modern, mm -hmm. the chrome is now behind glass. Okay, so it's not so on the outside. It's before inside, you know. the chrome was actually this size, okay. we wanted to reduce that. Reduce that. But you need still this as a handle to yeah. open. And so we brought the chrome behind. And somehow you get this look like a more an technical mm -hmm. iPhone. It's not any longer you don't have this big chrome bar. Mm -hmm. But from, the f from back, you still get the same mm -hmm. impression of a slimmer chrome. Yeah? It's, it's something subtle, mm -hmm. but um, it gives, it fits then to the front end, which has also this clean, nice black areas. Sure. Otherwise, the, it would fall a little bit. Uh, gotcha. Can you spec the exhaust pipes in different colors so you can go darker colors and that? Or yeah, you can go yeah. always in, uh, like, you can have also the kidney in completely black. Okay. You have seen on the pictures on uh -huh. the M, there was the okay. frozen blue. Frozen, uh, yes, There's everything yes, black. Was kidney in black. This is that now we have always coming in the base, mm -hmm. you have black, mm -hmm. shadow line, yeah. certain things mirrors and then you can have extended shadow black and then it's the kidney and the I exhaust see. pipes. Perfect. So let's open the door on this side maybe take a look at the maybe on, on this side so you can tell me about the interior because it's changed quite a bit right so it kind of follows the line of the other BMW cars. So you yeah. want to walk me through so large curve display. It's similar what we did on the i4 okay. yeah? so we brought the curved display into uh, into the interior of a regular car yeah? okay. because so what we had to change is the topper pad mm -hmm. you see the wood which is now also three-dimensional like on the 7 series okay. and as you have the curved screen you don't need the switches for the uh, air vents okay. because uh, the x7 x5 they have in the air vents uh, the still a lot yeah. of switches mm -hmm. also it's not that you know discreet it's okay. maybe a little bit old so you have all interaction now with direct touch mm -hmm. and then you can of course simplify and then we have a similar look to the 7 series okay. with this interaction bar you don't see that visible the vents, the vents yeah. and of course you have less switches in the center mm -hmm. and the gear shift is different okay, yeah? so the gear shift is the same the like the also on the ix mm -hmm. and the uh, 7 series sure. and then all the other things are more 
um, yeah, the execution of the trim. Okay. It's a little bit more exclusive. The, the B color is a little bit sure. like also here in the back. In the back. You can see that uh, how we executed, for example, now if you take the individual leather, mm -hmm. you have even the console now in B color. Okay, so yeah, you can do which a is, bicolor console yeah, too. Yeah, which okay. is now, of course, that's little minor details, mm -hmm. but also the, 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 the stitching on the... Um, yeah, the honeycomb stitching yeah. kind of thing, yeah. You know, in the it's leather. a lot more pronounced. Exactly. And then also for, for the connection of the... Uh, the of USB. your device okay, de yeah. is, is hidden in behind the white. You have even an illuminated seat underneath. Gotcha. So it's kind of the idea of shy tech. Exactly. You don't want to show it right away. But it's more, okay. it's of course a life cycle impulse, mm -hmm. but it brings um, to the car at least something which is then on one height with the 7 series also in the interaction bar. Yeah. We have this light signature which is then different to, do you have two different? If you okay. take the M car, or the M version. So you have different, the, in, the interaction bar is different if you have an M versus a non-M car. Gotcha. I mean, you might say it's a facelift, but it's it's quite a major one, honestly, because facelifts are usually minor when it comes to design, but this one, it's it feels in some ways as a new car more than anything else. So um, it's I interesting to see an, that. It's an X7. So when there is a 7 series coming and you have still three more years, mm -hmm. the same car. So what is the X model of the 7 Series? So you want them to kind of fit together, exactly. kind of, now, okay. There, we, we made some pictures, mm -hmm. you know, also for the press, uh, where you see side the both. You will see also three cars side sure. by side okay. soon. And then you will see, ah, yeah, that's a family lineup. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a way to keep the products exactly. fresh, so yeah. one doesn't look outdated compared to exactly. a newer one. It's very important because, I mean, this car performs very well. Mm -hmm. um, still right, it's the first ever M60. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So it shouldn't fall. You have to keep it just on sure. the same height. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Well, Domo Goy, thanks once again. I appreciate the insight on the X7, the 7 Series, the i7, all of that. Uh, thanks once again. I look forward to seeing some other cool products this year. There are quite a few from what I understand, so I'm sure we'll spend some time doing that. I appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you.